So in our lives, I've been trying to do the whole Marie Kondo thing, where if it sparks joy, you keep it. Most of my purchases spark joy for the moment, but then somehow it sparks hoarders buried alive. Yeah, apartments become a little bit of a hoarders buried alive situation with the amount of nice things we have. We tend to buy things that are good quality and stuff like that, but it has become a little much. So with that said, what comes in, stuff must go out. That's why there are consignment shops. I love to shop at consignment shops and then I love to consign at consignment shops. So there's a couple of them in the city that we tend to consign with and purchase from. And what we do is we go through all the things we have and we talk about which ones are we wearing still, which ones will we want to keep as a collector's piece and something that we might want to wear later. Is it something that we just don't need? It doesn't spark joy anymore. Because we shop quite often, it makes it a little easier to go through things because it has to replace something. We have a big bag of stuff that we're gonna go to a few different consignment stores and kind of just see who will take what. The way consignment works is you give them your items, they log it in, they give you the suggested retail price and typically consignment shops are a 50-50 split and usually most of these consignment shops have like a a monthly time where they will cut you a check. And on top of it, a lot of these consignment shops allow you to use your earnings to repurchase. And I know it sounds like gluttonous sometimes because I think we all overpurchase and I'm definitely trying to be better. We are trying to be better. Like I was going through my collection and there was this Ghani sweater. I think it's called Ghani. Johnny, Ghani, Johnny, Ghani. I, I really liked it at the time. And now I'm just, I don't know, I'm just over it. I want to resell it to somebody who else who will love it and care for it. And then maybe I can make a little money back on it and then repurchase things that spark joy. I think Marie Kondo would be so proud of me. Oh, she would be very proud of our apartment. Insert sarcasm here. Horrified. Horrified, like pet, like she wouldn't even walk in. She, no, no, she wouldn't come in. I know that I'm the source of the shopping problem and I am working on it. Good you for know? you. Yeah, acknowledging it is the first step to fixing it, yes. right? I wonder if the consignment shop would take you. Rude. So I'm gonna keep rummaging through, adding to the collection, and you add in your collection, because I know you have things that you can consign as well. It's not just a me thing. <sighs> Guys, you can have a staple closet with, with females, they tend to come up with so much stuff and we just need more. We like handbags, we like flat shoes, high heels, wedges, headpieces, headbands, so much jewelry, so, so much, much stuff. stuff. I'm, I'm gonna be better, I'm gonna be better, I'm gonna consign. So let's just go to the consignment shops. Let's drop off a bunch of clothing. I know there were Bowens. So these were super hyped up at one point. Size 40, $965. That's a great price. I think this is a $3,000 boot. I think you should wear that. Doesn't fit. Oh, missed opportunities. And square. This is Winnie. Hi, Hi. Winnie. The process is I, I bring her stuff, she's gonna assess if they wanna take it or not, right? Correct. And then they sell it and we go from there. So let's see what I brought. Oh, cute. Does it? Yeah, very good. I was going through a vest stage. Amazing lubes. These are going to fly out of here. So generally we like um, things that are pretty much on trend. Gently loved or brand new with tags. When you sell things at Fashion Me, you guys get 20% off. 
if we have a credit on our account. So any of the money that you guys make with Fashion Week Yours, if you decide to spend it within a store, we'll give you an extra 20%. I basically have actually never left with any money. I just repurchase things. Yeah. All right, thank you, Winnie. That was super successful. Hopefully they can sell it because I have a jacket there from Prada that I have my eye on. So that would be nice. So we'll see. I'm getting the pho thai and then we're gonna share a deep fried pork spring roll here. Tian Tang has been here since forever. Uh, here, thank you. Great, thank you very much. Fun fact, I'm lactose intolerant and I take lactates, but it has saved me and allowed me to partake in cheese and cream and milk, all the things I love in life. dropped off a lot of clothing to these consignment shops. Some of them were regrets. Some of them were by mistake Some I consigned. Some of them were accidents. They were accidents. I'm not, I'm not mad about it. She's I not mad about it. I don't think about it ever. Except, she doesn't think about it ever. Except right now. Except all the time. Anyways. <laughs>